Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do an eclipse energy reading for you. This ought to be intense. This ought to be intense. So uh, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So this is just what the, the eclipse may do for you. It may be good, it may be bad. It probably has to do with karmic endings, you know. There's endings here. There is. That is the reality of this. Okay? So, we're just going to get started. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. Or however many come out. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you. Then we're going to use this deck right here for the reading. This is for July 15th to the end of July. But then you know the eclipse energy tends to carry on. You know, further than when it's actually happening. I can't give you the timeline because I'm not an astrologist. But I'm sure you can figure that out. But anyhow, um, we're going to see what comes up. We're going to see what I can pick up via my, you know, guides. So let's see what, see what comes up for you, Capricorn. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Capricorn? Dear God, angels, spirits in universe. Well, I guess it's right here, huh? We're going to take it upright. So, because I don't know, it was, you know, I just moved it all around, whatever. Um, the thinking woman. The thinking woman. So, we have a woman, this is a woman, <laughs> right? It is, that is thinking about changing her plans. So, you could be dealing with a woman or you may be the woman watching this. This woman is thinking about closing this story, closing this book, closing this chapter. Okay, so this is who you're dealing with. Something, you know, this woman is in deep thought. She's thinking about the next chapter of her life. Okay, we got somebody here who is in deep thought about what's next. Do I even want to keep doing this? Do I want to keep reading this book? Do I want to keep reading this story? Do I even want to be involved in this? Do I even like this? So, we got this thinking woman here who is thinking about probably what she just read. She probably read something or she heard something or she's come to some sort of epiphany because she read something. I don't know. But she's thinking about a change, okay? She's, she's in deep thought, so. Let's go right here. So if, if you're the man watching this, you're dealing with this woman who is thinking about, you know, her life. She's thinking about the next chapter, where she's going, what she's doing. Um... And she looks like she's not very happy as well. She's not very happy. So, not very content. She, she's, it's like she has to make a choice and she's probably, you know, it's probably not, she must not be in a very happy situation because there's, there's not a smile on her face. She doesn't have a smile on her face. Ooh, flipped out too. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is safe. It's safe. It's safe. It's safe. Open your heart. Open your heart. Now we're going to get one of these. I might have to go shut my window. I don't know. We're going to get one of these. Okay. Well, we got a problem here. We got a problem here. Are you ready for this? Self-sabotage. We got somebody here that is sabotaging their own success. Demons. Look at the demons. That makes sense, huh? There be, could be addictions. There could, there could be addictions that are in the way of success. There could be fears. There could be ego. There could be pride. We're going to read this card right now.
Become conscious of how your inner saboteur functions. You are about to sabotage a big opportunity. Now is the time to stop procrastinating and cease focusing your energy on why you are unworthy of wonderful enriching experiences. When you connect to the saboteur archetype, you become to recognize all the ways you pass up interesting opportunities and relationships which could make you grow, learn, evolve, and become fulfilled. The saboteur is terrified of change and guards your heart from that which is meaningful to you. With the misguided belief that if you don't try, you can't fail, it forgets that if you don't escape from your comfort zone, you cannot succeed and experience the love and joy which would fulfill you. On the lighter, si lighter side, the saboteur can help you connect to your intuition and help you to listen to your deeper wisdom. It can assist you in deciphering a potentially dangerous situation from an exciting one. Somebody is self-sabotaging self a potential for a love because of fear, because of fear of failure. So let's get started. Not that we didn't already. Open your heart. Open your heart. Follow your heart. Let your guard down. Let go of those demons that control you. Your demons are about to be dealt with during this eclipse. Now, Nine of Cups reversed. This is actually really good. Things are about to look up deep fulfillment is coming it is deep wish fulfillment is coming if you are single and you are watching this you're completely single you have the potential to deepen a bond with somebody there's a deep bond that could happen between you and another person but you gotta face your fears you gotta face your demons about failure Two of swords you gotta you gotta see things differently you gotta take that mask off you gotta you can't keep avoiding it forever you got to unblock your heart. You got to unblock your emotions. You got to unblock your fears. Three of Wands. You should be excited. There's an opportunity arriving for you, or already has arrived, and you have been getting prepared for it. All the all the life experience that you have gone through has gotten you prepared for it. Four of Cups. Reverse. This is seizing an opportunity for love. So there's an opportunity for love here. Where you could have a deep, deep, deep bond with somebody. No kidding. Unexpectedly. There's a relationship that could lead to commitment. And it could lead to commitment very quickly. Queen of Wands reversed. The death card, well, that makes sense. The ending, this is the ending. An ending, something is ending so something new can begin. And that is what this is. So you may feel like it's unsafe to love because you have experienced a death or you have experienced an ending. You have experienced a major change in your life. And now you're trapped, you're stuck, you're stuck in your own fears. You're stuck in your own mental prison over accepting love or accepting a new beginning in love. This whole experience that you have dealt with that caused you so much pain and suffering, it got you prepared. This is a lack of ambition, a lack of drive. You could be dealing with the, this this ending right here could be with somebody that, you know, doesn't excite you anymore or or didn't put in effort or who, you know, That this could be this thinking woman who, you know, this could be blocking your new beginning. This is blocking your new beginning. You could have been dealing with somebody who didn't put in effort. Somebody that didn't 
nurture you and that has made you feel like it's not safe. This person may, you know, use anything, you know, uh, this person may be angry, they may have had anger issues, whatever, may have used silent treatment, may have not communicated, whatever, whoever this person is, if this person is blocking you from a new beginning, there could be another person in the picture that, you know, is hindering your wish fulfillment. And it's like there's a lack of reunion with this person. You, there's no reuniting with this person. So you need to, you know, release it. Release it. It could be a third party situation. You could, be, you could have been dealing with somebody who cheated on you. Which had made, makes you feel, you know, that you're not good enough. Whatever. Lack of love here. Ten of Swords, liberation, breaking free. You guys are about to experience a transformation. You're about to break free from something that has been hurting you. Or you're about to be breaking, broken free. You, you, you could be dealing with a person that is thinking about releasing you. Or you could go vice versa. There is a release here. This is a major change. You are about to experience a major life change. Because you haven't been getting the love that you deserve. You haven't. There's no love here. And you deserve love. You deserve to receive love. You know, it feels as though you guys, you know, the Eight of Swords, this is, this is, you're in your own prison about accepting love. But this is liberation. This is breaking free. The worst is over. The worst is, if it's not over, it's about to be. You're about to be liberated. You're about to be broken free if you haven't been already. If you are still tied to something that is holding you back, you're about to be cut free. You may have already been cut free and you're about to have a major transition. But you have to stop self-sabotaging. You have to open your heart and you have to allow. There is a new opportunity for love here. Wish fulfillment, a deep, deep bond, a deep bond that could lead to marriage, commitment, you know, it, it could. But there is somebody here that is blocking it. This person is in the way. This person may be miserable. Um, this person, you may, this is somebody from your past, perhaps. This could be somebody that you have a lot of memories with. This person. You may have a lot of memories with this person. You may have children with this person. I think there's a lot of battling. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of um, needing to defend yourself. It's like you're always in defense mode. You always have to defend yourself to this person. Or you always had to. You always had to. You Releasing the past. Releasing the so we got somebody here that is going to go through a transformation and release the past. Release those demons. Release what has been blocking them from their new beginning. So you're dealing, this is the magician reverse. This is a manipulation. There's a manipulator here. There's a liar here. There's a trickster here. There's somebody that is very cunning. Somebody that hasn't been taking action. Somebody that has been unwilling to release. So this could be you, Capricorn. You could be lying to yourself. Huh. Unwilling to change. Unwilling to change. Unwilling to accept your new beginning, your new life. But it's time to be practical. It's time to be disciplined it's time to find your discipline it's time to protect yourself it's time to go in a new the new the dire, new direction it's time to dominate it's time to hold your head up high it's time to show the world how strong you are this is like the alpha to me So I feel like you, you know, you're very routine oriented, but maybe now it's time to change your routine and go in a different direction. Stop lying to yourself. Stop deceiving yourself. Stop holding yourself back. Stop staying in this mental prison. Stop staying in your comfort zone. Go after the love that you see because I think that you see it. I think that you do. 
So I feel like you guys are being tested. You're, te you're being tested. Your strength is being tested. Um, I think you're about to be broken free. And I think that you're headed towards happiness. The Ten of Cups. You're headed towards happiness. You have potential to get into a new relationship with somebody that could fulfill you in more ways than you can ever imagine. But in order to get this Ten of Cups, you got to release. Death is release. You need to accept change. You need to transition. You need to let go of something and, and, and step into this happiness. So this is a time of releasing, letting go, and starting over, and accepting love. You've got an offer of love coming in here. Don't miss the opportunity. And this is, remember how we started this out? Go back and listen to it again. You are about to miss a huge opportunity because of fear of failure. Don't let it happen. Good luck.